can't tell from the slide, I'm super excited to demo. <laughs> Trouble's pet shop working on top of Sawtooth 7. And on top of that, we're going to be showing off a little bit of Trouble 5, in particular Trouble 5's migrations. Uh, before I get started, actually, I, I wanted to say um, it's amazing to be working as part of this community. Uh, this, we've got relatively little time in this integration, and it's come together so fast. And that's largely because of the other tooling that's out there. We've been able to make use of an actual embedded EDM that we're, we're putting into our integration uh, to do all kinds of really cool debugging and state analytics. Uh, we've made use of some of the MetaMask stack to actually bridge some of the small gaps in compatibility between Sawtooth and Core Ethereum. So um, it's really, really quite awesome how quickly we can bring these sort of uh, integrations together. And I'm, I'm super excited to see all of those tools that Tim showed you all come into the forefront. So if you remember, for, for those of you who are developers in the room, hopefully most of you, um, if you remember how to configure a network in trouble, this is your sort of usual network configuration. Right? It looks pretty straightforward. You've got a network name, you got a host, you got a port, you got a network ID. No big deal. But with our new, very, very alpha uh, Sawtooth integration, we have a set provider. And the host and the port go away. We create a new instance of that set provider, set provider. We give it a URL, and that's it. After that, we've got the same smooth and easy to use developer experience that you can expect from Trouble. So I've actually got Sawtooth running here. And just to, to prove it's all above board, we've got we're at block 56. And if I just go ahead, this is my pet shop project. If I just do a Trouble migrate, you're going to see that Trouble 5 migration report pop out here. You can tell already that we're on Sawtooth. If you look at that transaction hash, it's like way longer than what you're used to right? it's huge. Um, There was a little bit of work necessary to support that. Uh, so you can see we're, we're deploying our adoption contract to the chain. Actually, we've got our migration contract as well. This is our driver on information. Um, because we're on an enterprise network, um, there's no deployment cost whatsoever. The gas price is zero. So the total, the total amount to uh, expected to be spent is zero. And the total amount actually spent is still there. So that's great. We've, we've gone ahead and migrated our contracts, right? But we actually want to do something. So So I'm just going to webpack the project so that I um, can embed the, the provider and the uh, artifact into the project. And this is. Of course, the uh, pet shop that you, uh, you all have seen before. We have Seth's pet shop in this case. He's going to keep his pet shop. Um, let's go ahead and adopt Collins, this cute little French bulldog. Moment of truth. Success. And if I go over to our block explorer, we were on block 56, and we should have quite a few new blocks after the migration and the adoption. Plenty of transactions that you're going to look at. That's pretty much it. So this is a very, very early alpha integration. Uh, we're still very much in progress on 